Kelsey did not miss his words after the offensive struggles from the loss on Sunday on his podcast uh, that came out on Wednesday. And here's what Kelsey said. Quote, that was an embarrassing game, at least for myself. My coaches and teammates don't deserve that out of me for sure. Travis went on to say, quote, it felt awkward during the game, like we couldn't get anything going. You talk about that sense of urgency on the sideline. It didn't feel like we had too much of that. And when we finally had that sense of urgency, we turned the ball over and get it ripped out right of our hearts. Our defense is playing their tail off, man. And for us to keep turning it over and keep putting them in bad positions and them saving our tail, it's getting real one-sided. I don't think I've been in a situation where we've stalled this much as an offense throughout the year, definitely at this point in the season. So, J.D., what, what do you make of Kelsey's comments on the uh, the recent struggles? Man, it's all true. It's all true. And what that is, that's self-reflection. So he's not sitting there just pointing his finger because that's not what we do, okay? The Chiefs don't do that. They, they You, you self-reflect. You look at the man in the mirror. And you say, what did I not do correctly? What did I do do right? And so sometimes what people look at, they just look at stats as far as catches, right, yards. But there's other things that guys can uh, account, uh, contribute to what's going on in the win of game. And so part of that may be where, you know, you might not be getting blocked. He might not be in the right place where he needs to be. And so all those things matter. And so he was just saying for himself, he needs to do better. He said, they don't deserve that. So he's telling everybody else, they didn't get the best out of me for this, from this game, from my standpoint. I could have done more. I could have done better. And hopefully him being the leader in the locker room on the offensive side of the ball, he's setting a precedence and an example of what it means to be a championship. And that's the greatest thing you could possibly do, especially for these young guys. Okay? Because he's sitting over and saying he's not giving himself excuses. He's, letting, he's not letting himself off the hook. And he's, so, he's saying, look, we got to get this thing fixed. It's been one-sided for a long time, and it has been. They, they have been so so, so good at what they do offensively that the, the, they had to pretty much carry the defense, if you will, for the majority of the time he's been here. Okay, And so they, they, they never had any problem going out and scoring fast or having to go score 35 points a game or 40 points a game. It's different now, okay? It's different now. And so he understands that. It's a little tougher, okay? But trying to achieve that is not impossible, right? There's ways you could go about doing it. And I think also, too, he was alluding to that possibly that goes into the coaches, that goes into the preparation, as it goes into the mindset, that goes into the dedication, that goes to Patrick Mahomes, that goes to Andy Reid, talking about everybody in the building. Okay, but the first one he wants to look at, he wants to talk about, is him. Yep. That that right there, man. That that's that's what a champion does. That's what a guy who wants to be the best. That's what he he does. That's what they do. Yep. So, uh, I commend Travis Kelsey for doing that, speaking in words how he felt, how he's feeling about it. Okay, you don't have to take all these. Yahoo's out here talking about all oh, the Chiefs is this, all oh, they terrible, and we don't need. I was like, oh, listen, we're not terrible. That was a bad performance. That was a terrible performance for that day against them. But ultimately, we're gonna get this thing fixed. And so, if I have you, you have your two leaders on a team, PM fifteen, who say it's gonna be all right. Okay, he's giving you some confidence. And then Travis Kelsey say, hey man, we gotta fix this thing early, you know, quick, right? Till we get too far too far in the weeds with these things. Okay, so once you start doing those things like that, he won't get too deep where you can't get out of it. You can't get out of the hole. Some things need to change right now. That's going to take everybody, man. I think everybody's dedicated. I think everybody understands that, especially after the guy finished watching this video. Hey, man, there was a lot of things that was being exposed. And I hope in that room, uh, nobody got too emotional about what was going on. Nobody took any of the criticism. Uh, too bad. Okay. Hopefully somebody stood up and said, look, man, this is what we want. This is what we need to do to be champions. Okay. So out there in Twitter world or everybody to heck with all that. We ain't worried, we ain't worried about none of those things. We ain't worried about the Swifties. We ain't worried about any of those things. <laughs> what we need to worry about is what's going on here in this room. Okay. And this is what we need to do 
make sure we salvage our season, okay, and play to the expectations and the standard that we set for ourselves, okay, that we set for ourselves. So, yeah, yeah he was spot on with everything. Sure. I mean, who else, who else, who, who else do you want? Who else do you want to come in and, and you know, uh, scream the charge, mm-hmm. right, everything right, other than, you know, your, your Pro Bowl, you know, greatest tight end, you know, in, in, in NFL right now, what, what do you what do you want to do? What do you want to do with that? Who else you want leading it, right? And the greatest quarterback right now. So who do yeah. you want? You know who you want to do? Who you want to do with the skill with the skill position room with a bunch of young guys, second year guys, you know, third year guys outside of MBS, Um, You want to hear. I mean, you you want to hear the two the two leaders, Patrick and Kelsey, and also the two probably the most high profile guys in the NFL right now. Hearing them talk about the offense like that, and also and Patrick too, he's like it's like a positive reinforcement. Like we'll get it together. Like you know we're gonna get it together. It's not it's not an if we need to. It's like no, we're gonna get it together. And like that's yeah, that's, that's what you want to hear. And then on the other side, you have Travis saying like, I've really never been a part of this. Which uh, you know, I, I, in the Mahomes era, he's never really had to have to stall out the offenses. During the Alex Smith era, we had we, there was plenty of games where we we weren't scoring touchdowns, we were scoring field goals. Um, but like, yeah, as far as the recent last five years during the Patrick Mahomes era, yeah, we didn't we didn't have this uh, issue at all. Um, yeah, there were some spots where he had a few weeks here and there where things didn't look right. Um, yeah. When everyone started dropping the, the, doing the cover two against us, and we kind of it just didn't look, you know, it wasn't seamless. But like. Yeah, I mean, it, for the most part, and that's and also too. That's where it comes from with the fans. the The fans are just not used to it. The fans are just not used to us scoring points. So, like, that's where the fans kind of um, criticism comes from. And yeah, some people, are, you know, are, are you know being a little ridiculous with what they're saying about this team. But yeah, it's it's great to hear these two guys come out and say what they're what they're saying um, as far as getting things back together and back on track because they know it's an issue, obviously. Yeah, and, and, and look, and, and rightly so, criticism, rightly so, because of the type of play, right, of, of what we expect to yeah. see out of, out, of, out of the Chiefs. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. No. But we had to address, like, some of the issues why why they're not being successful. One of the things I think he, he was talking about, he was talking about the red zone. He was talking about scoring touchdowns like he was talking about, right? Talking about maybe some of the drop balls, some of the lack of focus and concentration. And so when you, when you put all those different things together, then it is a recipe for disaster. And and like he said, you can't let this thing go too far until you address what's going on in the issues, right? You got to have an honest conversation with yourself, okay? That way you can fix it. You can you can get into on the road. Well, this is what needs to be done, right? We know what yeah. the problem is. We know what's going on. Uh, now it's time to start fixing it. What do we need to do to dedicate ourselves to that task uh, to become champions again? To repeat because we get another one. That's we know that's that's uh that's a dynasty talking. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.